enjoy the film. You want butter on your popcorn? The theater will be ready in a second. So we ran out of popcorn today. Fuck, what? We ran out of popcorn. When? I can only imagine that you're somewhat to blame. Me? How well did you sell popcorn, Henry? How well? How well? Yeah, How I lucrative? Did you I only sell, sell a lot your of sales, hustle. All right. Are you sure? No. Hmm. <laughs> How much popcorn did you sell today, Henry? I mean, you know, enough to enough to to line the pockets. How big are your pockets? <laughs> I'm wearing cargo shorts, man. There's so oh, many pockets. Shit. <laughs> That's the maximum number of pockets. You must be flush. Yeah, I I I make a pretty penny at work these days. My goodness. That's, so, that's one shiny ass penny. My going work theory, on commission. Since, since you only sell stale or old popcorn, yeah, is that you popped all the popcorn, let it go stale, and uh, then sold it. I mean, define stale. You def- you're the you one define who's, stale. Yeah. Uh, it's been out for a while. Do you have a storage space in here that just ages popcorn? Ages popcorn. I mean, I'm rather ambivalent towards what happens at this uh uh at this place this establishment but i do think that if somebody goes to the concession stand and they want popcorn they should be able to get popcorn yeah fresh popcorn yeah say if somebody wants to go on their break from the booth and they want to eat popcorn and there's no popcorn there that makes that does not a happy greg makes not that it's me it's it sounds to me like you're asking for a subscription to my snack club. Ah, this is how it gets you. <sighs> it's good though. That's are a good you get. already a member? Yeah. Then what? What, what are you complaining about? Here, you have access here, to popcorn. Here's the thing, Greg. You could double down today. <laughs> what? Yeah, and you get a full forty percent off your concession. A full forty. That's right. After this first purchase, where you only get that that thirty. Gotcha. Well, it's only fifteen actually. It went down. Uh... <laughs> Oh boy, this is a this is a pickle I'm in. This certainly is a How pickle. How much more does that cost? Well, it's, it's just well, it's I mean, twice the price minus the minus the you already get that twenty percent after exactly. you make your first purchase. I already get the twenty percent. the The base price is nineteen ninety nine, if I remember correctly, for some popcorn. Mm-hmm. Three installments per month. Three installments of nineteen ninety nine, ninety five. It was uh, wait no fifteen per fif- month and then you pay. It's, it's nineteen ninety nine now. Okay, so I give you my credit card, <laughs> right? And you hold on to it yeah. for the duration of my Your subscri- subscription. subscription. Right, you got it. So you're taking from my credit card, mm-hmm. uh, 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 off the honor system, obviously. <laughs> right, fourteen ninety five. Right, three times a month mm-hmm. plus that nineteen ninety nine. Enrollment fee, right? En- enrollment fee, That's and then new. if I want to buy anything, there's it's... a one time of a now fifteen percent off deal. Yes. But then in future purchases, I have the option of getting a forty percent discount right. if you double down today. So if, if I double it's... down today, so I can only get that forty percent later on. But here's the thing: if I double down today, what are you spending your money on right now? I mean, nothing, because I have your credit card, right? <laughs> so you could literally just not spend that money. I, uh, man, Kyle, I want to argue with him, but he is making a lot of sense right now. I can't follow this at all. He is selling this snake juice like nobody's business. I just, I guarantee you're not coming out on top. I think I am. Dude, you I'm said, getting popcorn. You said you want snake juice? You said you sell snake juice. That's right. And it's, uh, let me tell you, it's got a kick to it. Snake mm. juice? Yeah. yeah. What is he, that? He's, he's our town's only snake juice salesman. Most towns don't have one of those. How, How are they going to get be? snake juice? I mean, most towns don't have a dictionary writer, but, well, he's, he's you know, taking a break. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you guys want to get started? Yeah, that sounds oh, good. Oh, sure. Yeah. Uh, welcome to... Yo. Break room at the Cineplex. My Hello. name is Kyle. My name is Greg. I'm Henry Harrison. Uh, so this week we watched a monster movie. Yeah. Uh, it was called Big Mo. Yeah, Big Mo. Uh, Big Mo. He's this um, this alien life force, life form type thing that that crash landed in the middle of a rural area. Yeah, the kind of the classic. You know, and and a kid finds it. And it's this blob. Starts off as a blob, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then it 
uh, the, the kid finds it and he poking it with a stick and he's like, what is this glowing goop? And then the goop transforms into the shape of the child. Mm -hmm. Right. It, for, for, it first mimics. it turns into the into the stick yeah then it turns into the child like it's 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 just mimicking the the the, the next form of, yeah. yeah right uh, yeah it's it's its way of interacting with the world and yeah with it's, its with it its just rat. mimics mm -hmm. um and that's kind of like where um the kid you know realizes like oh my god like this this is like glowing goop and it can be anything it's me like mm -hmm. this is this thing is is out of this world like yeah it's crazy this yeah. is crazy and he, he goes and he gets his dad he's like i gotta show my dad this because you know like no i don't think i've you know, i've definitely never seen anything like this my dad he's he's, he's like seen some he's, things. he's the big guy around he's here he knows things. he's yeah. seen everything he's been to the city and he comes out and uh the the, the alien takes the shape of his dad mm -hmm. and gets bigger and the kid goes ah it's big now and the the creature goes big because it learns it's learning the language yeah yeah, yeah. just by what it hears it big <laughs> mm-hmm and uh so <laughs> so he, he he he's like uh well we maybe we should teach it you know what it is to be human like what what it is yeah it yeah, can learn language let's see if we can cool teach about more this of it. he's yeah. not he doesn't do what i think a normal person would do which would be contact someone someone anybody Anyone in charge. Yeah. So he busts out his guitar and he's trying to teach it about music. He's like, that's, you know, the basis for understanding mm -hmm. human suffering is, is to understand the blues. music. Exactly. So mm -hmm. he, so he, he plays him playing. a little blues ditty and he sings mm -hmm. about his life. Yeah. And at the end of the song, the creature goes, Big Mo. And, and he's like, What? Big Mo? You want, do you want more? I can play more. He tries to play more, and 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 Big Mo he starts to starts to uh, get more and more, and he's like Big Mo, Big Mo. He starts to grow. <laughs> yeah, this is where we realize that that Big Mo feeds off music. He feeds off of music. So so Big Mo he 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 busts out of the side of the, <laughs> of the farmhouse, uh, uh, and 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 the, the kid's dad is like, whoa, what the hell? And, and and Big Mo, Big Mo leaves, and the kid's running after Big Mo, and he's like, wait, Big Mo, come back, Big Big Mo. And and Big Mo's just saying, Big Mo, Big Mo, and he starts trudging off towards the city. We can see the city in the uh, in the distance. Yeah, see that, see the buildings, the tall buildings. And so he, he goes off that way. So then we cut to a uh, jazz club, presumably in the city. Yeah. Uh, so as as Big Mo is is going through the city, he's big, but he's not huge. He's not huge. Mm -hmm. He's just a slightly larger version of this kid's dad. Yeah, yeah. and he's like completely appears to be this kid's dad. Like on mm -hmm. the surface, you wouldn't know, uh, but he doesn't understand the rules of the road. So he uh, he's like crossing the street, and and he gets honked at, and the guy rolls down his window to be like, "Get out of the way!" And his radio is playing really playing. loud. <laughs> And Big Mo is like Big Mo. Big Mo. It grows a Takes little bit more. More. Yeah. And so so he eat, so uh, um, there's this there's this jazz club, and this uh, uh, this bartender he's cleaning he's cleaning glasses and listening to the to the jazz band that's playing. Nobody's really in this joint, but the band's still playing because that's what they like to do or, or whatever. Sure. And so the bartender is, is cleaning glasses and he hears outside he hears somebody scream that some that. That man is abnormally tall. That man is is <laughs> that man is bigger than you, than normal or what I think a normal person looks like. <laughs> I'm not trying to stereotype in any way. I'm trying to I'm protect not anybody. Any calls. I'm just making it on on observation. It's based on my understanding of the average human height. Very very po very, very polite. Yes. <laughs> woman but voice screaming. Yeah. But, but screaming but in a, in a uh, shrill so the, cry so the, the, the bartender bartender uh, goes outside he like sticks his head outside and and the guy's like hey what's going on down there and, and, and big mo turns around and he hears the jazz music coming from inside and he makes a beeline for that he club just goes for it and he and he he runs in there he bursts down the door and the bartender's like whoa what the hell and the I need band, to see your id the please the band stops playing the band stops because they're and, trying to get the hell out of there they're yeah. like oh my god what is this thing they're, they're like, like what's going on this is closing time this uh, last guy call was like a half hour ago 6 11 he looks like a big person he's <laughs> nearly seven feet tall <laughs> It is alarming how tall this and person he, is. He gets angry because they've stopped they've playing stopped the music, playing music, and that's his sustenance. Mm -hmm. That's what he feeds on. He yeah. actually starts to shrink slowly he's every moment slower. he's not 
around music. And he's like, mole, 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 mole. And they're like, mo, <laughs> mo, more music? And then the, and Once the, he hits about six five, and they're like, this guy seems <laughs> normal height this now. This guy seems normal. We'll start taking requests. The piano player goes over. He's like, all right, buddy, what do you want to hear? And he says, mo, mo. And he's like, oh, you want to hear more of this stuff? Okay. So he starts playing a tune. And he starts to get a little bigger and a little bigger. And and then the band, then, then the piano player is like, oh whoa, this guy's this guy's like almost seven feet tall again. Oh, he's man, he's like, just a bit too tall. Last call was like was forty minutes like 40 ago. Minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get out of here. So so the the band leaves and the and and Big Mo is upset. Yeah, and, the the bassist, the upright bassist, is walking to his car carrying his his uh his bass. Bassist is walking. There's a music joke for you. That is going to be for me later. <laughs> Uh, the bassist is walking to his car. To his What's car. the basis for this joke? <laughs> uh, pretty good. What are you uh, basing this off of? <laughs> I'm just describing what happened in okay. the movie. I'm having a good time. You're shaking the table. <laughs> Shit. So Big Mo, what? Yeah, Big Mo. Yeah. So, so the bassist is walking to his car. Yeah, because all the all the uh, all the musicians leave. The bassist is headed to his car, and Big Mo starts following him because. Mm-hmm. Those deep bassy notes, Big Mo was really being yeah, sustained off of those. Yeah. So he's drawn to this uh, this bassist, and so the bassist is in the alleyway loading his his bass into the car, and he hears Mo Mo Mo, Mo. Big Mo, and uh, and he turns around, and there's Big Mo, and and the bassist's like, oh, this guy again. Hey, look, buddy. Sorry. Yeah. Show's over. Show's I over. But listen, I'm, I'm, t- I'm not on stage. Yeah. Hey, look, man. All I can do is 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 uh, I can offer you a, a cassette tape. Listen, mm-hmm. we've recorded our set onto cassette tape. Go Let, for it. You can have this yeah, one. Please. This one's on the house. Uh, Big Mo eats it because he doesn't understand he what doesn't it is. He doesn't quite understand what it is. It looks like a cookie. He or says, cookie Mo, Mo. Mo, Mo, Mo. And so the bassist is like, all right, I'll give you another one tape. more. <laughs> don't eat this one, sir. Uh, Big Mo says, no, don't, don't eat. Don't, don't eat. eat, sir. Don't eat, sir. And so the bassist is like, here, I've got I've got a, a little tape deck in the back of the car. I'll give you my Walkman. You can have this. You can, <laughs> you can have, have you can have the Walkman. Here you go. So he gets them all hooked up with the Walkman, and he's and Big Mo's walking down the street, and he's mm-hmm. got the Walkman hooked up. So yeah, he's, he's got endless stream of music into his ears, mm-hmm. and he is growing extremely so large. big, it's eight foot, of, yeah. nine foot. It just he, keeps going he, until he hits his head on a street light, and it knocks his headphones off. And he's just confused. He starts he's stumbling confused. around, yeah, stomps yeah. onto the tape deck, destroys it's it. Destroys it. But he, at this he's, point... He's getting angry. He's getting agitated. Yeah, at this, at this point, point, yeah, he's he's tall enough that even at the slow rate he's shrinking, he's not going to be normal human height for a while. For a little bit. Yeah. Right. He's on the hunt for more music. Mm-hmm. But he's this goop, and he finds himself slipping through a sewer drain. Yeah, yes. yeah, because cause he, he, cause, yeah, he, he loses that, that musical... A stream grounding that, it's, it sort of grounding. solidifies yeah him. so 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 he he no longer has that look of uh that kid's dad from the beginning he yeah he, he turns into this goop again and he slides through a drain and he gets washed away into into the darkness of like the undercity mm-hmm. yeah eventually he, he he winds up um in a subway station and he he's lurking around and he hears a busker on on the side of the street mm-hmm and he's like, Mo? 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 Mo. He gets Mo. really excited again. And, and he, he starts still... to take that shape of the busker. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. still in the tunnel. But the music is reverberating through the tunnel system. Yeah. And, uh, and he can spot the busker down at the far end in the light. And so he starts going towards the busker. But as the music is reverberating, he's growing faster and faster until he's filling the tunnel. Yeah. So with he the, finally his... yeah, bursts out of the tunnel as this giant busker... <laughs> Saying Big Mo, Big Mo, and this but the other busker was so like, that thing looks like a big me, like a big bloated me, and 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 the busker uh, he he gets frightened and he starts running away and Big Mo starts starts lumbering after him, yeah, wanting this source of music and he ends up trying to follow him up the stairs out of the subway just like breaks through onto street level. Mm-hmm. At this point, this has been all night he's been wandering around, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, but morning's coming, and it happens to be Thanksgiving Day. You know what that means? It's time for a parade. Macy's Day Parade. <laughs> yeah. The parade kicks off, 
there was marching band after marching band. Uh huh. Filling the city with he's just, music. He's just growing bigger and bigger. He's growing bigger and bigger until he's about the size of one of those big balloons mm-hmm. that they are, are carrying. And he he, st- he starts going around. He st- he starts going around, and he's looking for People the music. People think he's afloat. People think he's afloat. Well, because he spots he, he the, sees uh... the yeah. He sees the balloons, and he's and he's like, these guys get it. At least that's probably what he thought. Like and he we, takes, we he get takes that the from... shape of a balloon. Yeah, he yeah. takes the shape of the Snoopy balloon, mm-hmm. I believe. The Charlie Brown Snoopy balloon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can hear on the news, they're like, and they're narrating the whole thing. Yeah. And here, comes, like, Snoopy. And, and here comes Snoopy. There's, there's Calvin. And, and there's Calvin Snoopy Hobbs, again. And there's Snoopy again. Okay. <laughs> this All one right. seems to be walking. Yeah, and he seems to really be getting into that music. <laughs> He's also <laughs> shouting <laughs> Big Mo. <laughs> He's screaming Big Mo at the top of his lungs. And it's and, it's and here comes Homer shaking Simpson. Shaking buildings. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. the finale of the parade comes and goes. And mm-hmm. Big Mo has is, enjoyed is the whole thing. Yeah, he's been having a blast. He's just so a much. massive Snoopy standing in the middle of the city. Mm-hmm. Just sort of and, muttering Big Mo to himself. Yeah. They they realize that this isn't a float, actually. That this is a large being. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they grow a little concerned. They're sure. like, this is this is much larger than a human should be. This is... And he's in the shape of Snoopy now? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this is far beyond what I'm I used to you. in my daily life. And so he, he becomes kind of a, a problem in the city. Mm-hmm. The, the townsfolk... Are, they don't know what to do with they're, it. They, I, they start new, airing on the news like, you know, if you have any information about this guy, please come forth. You yeah. know, that kind of thing. Little boy, he shows up and he, he comes on the news report and he's like, Big Mo, you need to come home. Like, it's, you know, this has gone too far. And Big Mo doesn't give a fuck. Yeah. He this point, yeah. just wants the music. He wants that music. So the townsfolk decide that they're going to start the parade again. And slowly lead him toward the ocean. Mm-hmm. Yes, because he follows for the, the music exactly. wherever the music goes. They're, they're like, this is what we have to do for the betterment of society. So they contact all uh, every person in the parade again. Mm-hmm. They all start playing their music, and uh, it's like a classic Pied Piper story. Um, mm-hmm. Big Mo drowns. He's dead uh, now. He dies. <laughs> well, he goes underwater and he sort of dissipates because mm-hmm. he, he becomes loses part of the water. water. Yes. So. The town considers him gone. Yeah. They're like, right. mission accomplished, victory. Right. And then we cut to 10 years later. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, the little boy has grown up. Yeah, he's... By he's 10 like, years. Yeah, he's like 20... Yeah, he's... he he's, he's, 20... he's now working as a as a sailor on a, on a fishing vessel. Mm-hmm. Out in this... In the ocean, you know, right where yeah, yeah, yeah. Big Mo disintegrated. Yeah. And he's he's there, and he's, uh, he's reflecting w- upon his life. He's he's just on the side of the the ship there. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. watching them drop the nets in and everything, and bring up the fish. And then he hears this uh, this sort of like sound. He's like, "What is that? What is, what that? is that?" And his captain walks up next to him, and he goes, "That there's a whale song." And the boy goes, "Song." <laughs> <laughs> suddenly. You hear that everything rumbles, and you hear, Big, Big Mo. <laughs> Cut to black. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love that during the the blackness of the credits, you just hear that that one like somber whistling tune, which is, I believe, the the little boy trying to call Big Mo back to him. Maybe yeah. that's a good interpretation of it. Yeah. yeah, or it's just kind of a weird thing there is yeah <laughs> <laughs> and uh and that's big mo big mo that's big mo yeah yeah let's uh let's go into favorite parts or characters or lines of dialogue uh i like the part uh back when big mo is pretty small so actually before uh the little boy calls his father out uh-huh. uh there's actually sort of like an et element to it mm-hmm. where the kid like wants to bring big mo into the house and so yeah. he brings him in and he actually, he's like showing him around his room. Yeah. And he pulls out a little music box or like one of those little things where you just crank it and it, and it plays a little music. Oh, that's a jack in the box. Not that, yeah. 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 Just the little, little music thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just like that. Uh, but you know, a music box. Yeah. So. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> People get it. Uh, but he you starts, know, like a music box. He starts playing that. <laughs> 
He starts playing it, and Big Mo, still in the form of the little boy, uh-huh. starts to grow ever so slightly. Ever and that's so slightly. like the first hint until the, the kid is looking at basically just like a version of himself that's a foot taller. Yeah. Big Mo then sort of, sort of wanders out of the room and actually runs into the dad. Yeah. And the dad's like, oh, son. My, have you grown? You're taller than I remember. <laughs> I'll be playing a song. <laughs> and, then, and then the movie continues. And then the movie continues from there. What do you think, Henry? What was your favorite part or there? I just really liked how polite everyone was in the town. They really were polite. They were. And very people. quick to help the, well, help this creature. Right. Yeah, Everybody was very forgiving. Mm-hmm. Everybody, uh, yeah, once that creature I mean, was dead in the, the water. I gave him his tape deck and he smashed it and he's not even upset about that. Yeah. yeah. He was like, hey, man, these things happen. I'm a jazz player. And then the rest of the town was like, hey, let's yeah, there's, kill, this. There's let's kill never, this thing and then get back to life. There's never that moment where like the dad player. goes and jazz mistakes are my profession. <laughs> there's never that moment where the dad at the beginning goes and like grabs his rifle. You know, it's just like, yeah, there's a creature that's landed in our cornfield. Seems to like music. Yeah. Hmm. I'll play him a song. I'll play him a song. That got out of hand. Now there's a hole in my wall. <laughs> what are you going to do? Nice town. Nice town. Yeah, I would uh, uh, if to get to ratings. Yeah, go for if it. If I may, I would uh, I would probably give this one a um, um, a high score, but not the highest score. Probably uh, like a mm-hmm. seven, mm-hmm. an oh. eight, maybe wow. seven point five, mayhaps. That's right, half scores. Yes, I might go so far as to say a maybe an eight again. Oh. I don't know. Yeah, you're it's all over the place. Likely. Today. Seven most likely. Yeah, we can do seven. half scores. We can do half scores. Yeah, I might. Well, hmm. I guess, well, yeah. there's just like a lot to think about. You know? I, know, I guess right? I'd have to give it an eight, though. Okay. All right. All right. Seems like you put some thought into sure. that. Sure. Yeah. I'll give it a seven, I guess. I, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. It was fine. I yeah. Know, yeah. I don't know this, where you I, got that score from. Yeah, this honestly, probably, yeah, I mean, where, uh, could, could you give examples of why you would make a seven? Or, I mean, You guys never do. I'm the only one who ever says why yeah and i'm done with it <laughs> seven sue me right. Ooh, don't put that I into the ether yeah, i wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't uh, bring hey that so up. if you want to sue uh you want to sh- sue shrimp klimsky if you'd like to sue us, you can reach out email us cineplex at, at cineplex podcast at gmail at gmail dot at cineplex dot com dot com dot mm-hmm. or on twitter at, at twitter sue us suicide, via twitter suicide squad is badfilm at twitter.edu <laughs> at Cineplex Podcast on Twitter. Uh, yeah, that's the one. Reach out. Mm-hmm. That's what I meant to say. If you'd like to suggest a movie or uh, ask us any questions about life in Timberdale, please do. I love saying things about Timberdale. You sure do. I love this town. Well, my name is Henry. <laughs> my name is Harrison. Kyle. My name is Greg. <laughs> and have a good one. Uh, thanks for listening, guys. Oh my god, you just gotta get the last word, huh? Bye. Last word, mine. <laughs> 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 <laughs>